Welcome back to another Computer Sluggish Plus video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and press the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we will be going through a few more methods that will hopefully fix the graphical issues you are having in Call of Duty Cold War. If you haven't checked out part one yet, go ahead and watch that video first. And if the methods in that video didn't help, then go ahead and watch this video. Anyway, let's go ahead and start with method one. The first thing you need to do is boot up Call of Duty Cold War. Once you have the game open, go ahead and click on settings. And you now need to go ahead and click on graphics. And once you're on the graphics page, you now need to change the display mode from full screen to windowed full screen. Once you have changed this, go ahead and press apply and now jump into a game and see if that resolved the graphical issues you are having. And with a bit of luck, that would have fixed the problem. If that didn't fix the issue you're having, then the next thing we want to do is look at changing the resolution. To change the resolution, all you need to do is go back to the graphics page, like I am now, and we now need to turn the windowed mode back to full screen, and we can now go ahead and change our display resolution by clicking on the drop down menu. We want to start from the lowest number possible, so as you can see, I can choose 800 by 600, and then we want to go ahead and jump into game and see if that fixed the lagging issues you are having with the graphics or frame drop or any texture issues. Basically, if you have the resolution set too high, your graphics card may struggle to keep that resolution going nice and smoothly. So what we want to do is start from a, a nice low number and then jump into game and see if it helps. If the game is running nice and smoothly and no texture issues, then we can go ahead and bump the resolution up a little bit. And just keep working your way through all the resolutions until you hit a point when you're having issues again. And then simply go back down to the resolution when it was working fine. If changing the resolution didn't fix the issues you are having, then the next thing we want to do is disable the NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. As you can see, it's right here. If we go ahead and toggle this to disabled, then hit apply. We now want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click on restart shaders. And then you want to go restart. Once the bar at the top has completed, then go ahead and launch a game. See if it's fixed the problem. If it hasn't fixed the problem you're having, then don't panic because we still want to go back to the graphics page and go all the way to the top. And you now want to turn off gameplay v-sync. This can cause a lot of issues when playing Call of Duty. As you can see on the right hand side, it is supposed to match your monitor's refresh rate, but sometimes this can actually cause a lot of problems with the textures in game. So go ahead and toggle this to disabled. Before you go ahead and join a game again, make sure you restart those shaders. Also, I'd like to just add, make sure the fee RAM usage is not too high. As you can see down here on the right hand side, we have VRAM usage. My bar is just a little bit over halfway, which is absolutely fine. But if you are getting close to the max, then you will encounter a lot of graphical problems when playing Call of Duty because your graphics card is struggling. So go ahead and just tone down some of those graphics settings. Simply just change some of them to medium graphics or low. Anyway, we now need to close down Call of Duty Cold War and go to our Windows desktop. Once you are on your desktop, you now need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to go ahead and press download and you now need to go save file. You now need to run this setup file. You now need to go ahead and press I accept if you agree to the terms and then press next and you can choose if you want to install Bing, I don't want to install it and then press next and it will now begin to install the latest DirectX update if it does find any. And there we go, as you can see, I do have the latest version of DirectX so no installation was needed. 
If yours did find a update though, and it did begin to install a newer version of DirectX, once it has finished, go ahead and launch Call of Duty and see if it resolved the issues you're having. The next thing we want to do, this is only for NVIDIA users, is go ahead and open up the GeForce experience. You can do this by going down to the bottom right hand corner and right clicking on the NVIDIA logo and then clicking on GeForce experience. You can also search for it in the start menu. You now need to go ahead and click on the settings cog and we now need to go down to in-game overlay and you want to simply toggle this to off. As you can see mine is currently off and that's because it was causing me issues in Call of Duty Cold War. Once you have toggled this off go ahead and launch the game and see if it did fix the issues that you're having. If this didn't fix the graphics issue you're having then the next thing I know does sound a little silly but that is to remove any camos or any attachments of your weapon that you like to use the most in game and then see if the game is working properly now. Sometimes having the extra camo on your weapon or the attachments like the scopes and stuff can cause graphical issues. So go ahead and remove them and then go into game and see if that fixed the issue. If that didn't work, then the last method is to simply make sure you do not have anything running in the background. If you have like a disc cleaning program installed on your computer make sure it's not running a disk cleanup in the background when you're trying to play Call of Duty. Also antivirus make sure there isn't an antivirus scan running while you are trying to play. That also includes Windows updates make sure no Windows updates are running in the background as well. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped. If you did like this video then please hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish plus tutorials.